Ah, good morning. Looks like we missed a blood moon last night. That's handy. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to DPM. My name is Erin and today I'm playing some more medieval Minecraft. I am going to go exploring. I'm just going to stock up on some things before I do that. I want to be able to grab any cool resources that I see. I'm going to take plenty of water. So the reason I'm exploring is to find a source of leather. Ugh. But I don't want new eggs. Eat those here. I don't have a great deal of food. Rice is ready, but I don't I don't have more space to put it, so I won't worry about that right now. Yeah, I don't have a lot of food. I've got 13 loaves of bread, but I'm sure I can find berries and stuff on the way. So I need to try and find some leather somewhere. A nice little clearing northeast of us here. I think I might head that way. I might take a bed. I'll go up to the village and I'll take a bed just so that I can sleep wherever I end up so that I don't have to worry about mobs. Pop up to the abandoned village. I'll just grab a bed out of one of these houses. Okay, that'll do. And just grab berries and stuff along the way to eat. I do believe that I will die many times, but hopefully I'll still find some cool stuff. I'm not going to go too far because anywhere I do go, if I die, I'm going to have to go all the way back there to get my stuff. Don't know what's going to be the best route to take. Quite a big chasm here. I really want to try and follow that. So we'll follow the track. Alright, let's see if I can go this way. I'll keep an eye on the mini map for any potential hostile mobs. My real concern is running into a dragon. That pretty much always happens when I explore medieval Minecraft. I get attacked by a dragon and that becomes majorly problematic because I can't kill them. There's ways, but it's quite a process. And yeah, they just can see you from a long way. Oh, that's a long way down. Okay, now... I'm not going to be getting any flowers and stuff at this point. What sort of tree is this? Maple. I'll just grab a sapling or two. Inch maple leaf carpet. This is really pretty. Look at it. What are you? Look. Where'd you go? Hey, what are you? Roost stalker. Roost stalker. Pretty cute. Obviously not aggressive. All right. I can see a friendly person over here somewhere. Oh. Oh no, you're not friendly. Okay. These guys suck. They roar at you and they kill you. So let's just go a different way. Mushrooms. What I'm really looking for is some sort of mob that gives leather. What the? Oh, hello. Um. Okay. I'll just leave the giant snails to their whatever it is they're doing. Something scary over here. Oh, giant pumpkins. I guess I'll take a couple of pumpkins. I don't think I have pumpkin seeds. This over here. Oh, it's a raccoon. <laughs> no. Oh, it's so cute. Oh god, what are you? Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that to end like that, I thought I was dead. What did they give me? Magic feathers. Hmm, okay. For a second I thought it was the raccoon tagging me. I was super confused. Let's see if there's anything else. I think it's just raccoons. This is really pretty though, out here. What's this? The building. Let's have a look at this building, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's a couple of buildings. Hello? Anybody home? Nothing in your barrel. Is there anybody upstairs? Hello? Who has empty chests in their house like that? What's in this one then? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Okay, a fletching table and a crafting table. Do you another gatekeeper? Okay, it's another gatekeeper. That's cool. I don't have anything interesting though. It's a shame. Oh, more harpies. They have something cool in their nest. I don't really want to bother them. I feel like they're going to bother me though. Are you going to bother me? They don't seem to be following me. Well, there's a real lack of useful animals around here. Lots of raccoons. Oh, sheep! Hi! I should have made some shears. Uh, you know, I didn't make shears, so... I don't really need wool. Um, I'm gonna mark this on my map. So that one day I'll, I'll come back if I need... If I desperately need wool. It's getting dark. Hi, can I just sleep here with you guys? Can I have a little... A little sleep sleep? I can count sheep to go to sleep. One, two, three sheep. Come on, let me sleep. It's getting scary out here. Let me sleep. Let me sleep out in nature. I want to sleep, please. There we go. Oh no, it won't let me because of the blood moon. All right, let's get ready for a night of drama. Well, I'll stay out in the open and hopefully that saves me. Bison. Those will give leather. Hello. Will they attack me if I attack them? Okay, he didn't. Oh yeah, they will attack me. Come on then. It's fine, I'm getting my leather. Sorry. Lots of leather. Ooh, spideys. Oh, there's so many hostile mobs around. Ah! Enderman! 
Enderman! I'm getting attacked by a bison and an Enderman. Alright, let's maybe not worry about the bison. Yeah, you stop! Come back here! Where'd you go? Oh, jeez. I should have just climbed a tree or something. Oh, I am so dead. We've respawned back at home. I think the safest thing for me to do is probably just stay. <laughs> I'll go get my stuff in the morning because otherwise it's just going to be a night full of dying. So what can I do here for the night? I guess I could go do some mining. Yeah, I might just go do some mining and uh, be productive. Yeah, there's absolutely no point in me going back over there because I will die on the way there. I mean, there'll be that much. There'll be so many hostile mobs in the forest on the way. This, I wouldn't be able to get there. Where did I put my torches? Did I, am I blind? There's five of them. Did I take them with me? Yeah, I must have taken my torches with me. Whoops. It's okay. I'll make some more. I've already forgotten where I put everything. Shovel and some torches. Let's see. Anything else? Probably should take a sword. I'll take my old platinum one. I'll get a notification when the night ends and then I can go back and get my stuff. Get more leather. The blood moon is so annoying how it doesn't let you sleep. And it is the worst possible time to be in a village. In one of my other worlds, a uh, blood moon wiped out like 90% of my villages. So that was fun. So I'll just do some mining down here until blood moon is gone. Put all of the mobs around me. Hope I find some coal. Should have brought some more sticks down. Whoops. I'm gonna use up these torches super quick. I don't know why I made two pickaxes and didn't bother to bring sticks to make more torches. Some iron. Far away is my death. 566 meters. Wow, I walked a fair way. Might be another area that I build a track to. Because it looks pretty good. Be a good spot for village if there was villagers nearby. Maybe I can get some into some minecarts. <laughs> be like, you live here now. Whoa! It scared me. I thought it was a big drop. I think this is just where I mined something before. I cannot believe how many mobs there are below me right now. There must be a big cave down there or something. There's some gold. That'll come in handy. Redstone. Actually, I didn't gather redstone before and I do need it for the tracks. I'll keep getting that. Decent amount of redstone. Oops, some more iron. Should make a clock at some point so I can come down underground and mine at night rather than just sleeping through and wasting all that time. I keep seeing that out of the corner of my eye and my, my brain thinks it's a revenant. I'm just so used to those green eyes out of the corner of <laughs> my vision coming to kill me. Redstone, green crystals, not sure what to use them for. I've only got six torches left. I actually still haven't found any coal, which is kind of crazy. Blood moon has set. Let's go back up. Doesn't sound like the sound effects is going away. All right, so sometimes this does happen with the dynamics. I think it's the dynamic surroundings mod, or it could be whatever mod the blood moon is from. Sometimes the sound effect doesn't go away. So I'm just going to do a quick restart. All right, there we go. Hey, my little friend. Hey, dude. Hello, goblin man. Get my, my usual thanks. Yeah. Oh, I got eight. Oh my god, there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. No, there are two of them. Well, I don't need to trade anything else with you guys. I need to go and get my corpse. I don't have anything particularly valuable on me. I did have my glass bottles though. But I can make something even better. But I won't do that. I'm going to go over there empty-handed. So if I die, I don't need to worry about retrieving that corpse. Just the red one. Because it's really annoying when you go to retrieve a corpse and you leave five more corpses with various amounts of stuff. I'll just put all of these things away. I hope there's not going to be another blood moon. I don't know how many that usually does. Not smelt everything. I don't have enough space. All right, empty handed. Let's go get this. And I might just finish off those bison and then potentially just come back. I really, I went looking for leather. If anything's out, out there is planning to kill me, can just don't because I, I just don't deserve it today. There's not going to be much of the day left by the time I get over there. Ah, the bear chasing me. No, 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 not the bear. Okay, I think he lost me. Whew. Down the big hill. Ow. Oh, I can't see. Ow. Oh, why do there have to be mobs in front of me? Actually, I think they're under me. Let's get my things, get my leather, and go home. Run, run, get to the body. Hope I don't attract the attention of any harpies. Please, there's my body. Oh, a cherry wood tree. Hey, mate. Sorry, I killed all your family. But if it's if it's any consolation, you're about to join them. Yeah. I believe I was just trying to kill it with a shovel. Not inhumane. One more. Oh, maybe I should eat first. What seeds did I get? Oh, they're rocks. Hi. I'm sorry, but I need you for some for some projects. I'm sorry. I need your skin. All right, let's mark this on a map just in case they respawn. Bison. I can remove my death point. Tempting to stick around and kind of get a few more things, but I might just grab this cherry wood. I don't know if it drops saplings though. Hopefully it does. Oh, it does. All right, now I think I better head home, which is this way before it gets too dark. Uh, I have some water. Now I just need to not have anything 
attack me on the way home. Oh, I've said that. I should not have said that. Ooh, there's hemlock there. That poisons you if you touch it. Oh, I've got to get back up that big hill. I didn't think about getting back because I live, I live up there. So the elevation I'm at now is 63 and I live at like 90. So this is the, the height that I live at. I might go down a bit further. It looks a bit less steep. Yeah, I often do that. I explore and, and fall down a cliff and I'm like, yay. And I don't think about the consequences of that and of getting back up the cliff. And I don't really want to travel around via the water because sea serpents and, and my luck, I'll get swallowed by a whale or something. I got to get back up here really high up. I wonder it's always snowing. The light is going to go and I want to be home before that happens. Jeez, how do I get up there? I have to kind of half dig my way up, I guess. This is going to take longer than I have. I'm going to get stuck on a cliff face for the night. I think I brought a pickaxe, I guess. I think to get down here, when I build a rail over to this clearing, I will do it via a tunnel. Did I say it was at 63? Nearly there, nearly there. Okay, cool. Up, up, up. Oh, lots of prickle bushes. Ow! Why do I feel like I'm running for my life? Nearly home. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's okay. Oh, well, that was fun. Now let's do some crafting because I've got some ideas. So... Something I can make now is a canteen and hopefully something else. Oh, I should have got some wool. Wait, I need a bed. And I've got a bed. Okay. I need glass. I have somewhere. I need, I need more sand. No. Oh, I have more sand. I'll try that. I need, need, I need more glass. I need iron. Plenty of iron. So there's something I need to make. All right, we need to make two of these. There's one. I need more coal. So we'll make another one. Okay, that's two. I need gold. I need specifically two red and one white wool. That's going to have to wait till I go back and shear those sheep. Hear my little friends outside. All right, I don't really want to run all the way back there just to shear those sheep. But I'm going to have to, aren't I? What I'll do, I'll leave everything else at home. Get my bread, my water, my sword. I might actually just take my platinum sword. And if I die on the way over, I don't really that much oh but how am i going to get back up that cliff face i'll take a nearly dead pickaxe and a shovel did i take a nearly dead pickaxe that's a dumb idea i'll take two nearly dead pickaxes obviously we didn't end up with another blood moon so that's helpful let's go and see these sheep maybe there's an easier way down there is i should mark it can i just go straight Are the sheep again okay maybe i should try just going like dead straight this whole way let's just go north North, north, north. All the way there. Gotta go around this mountain. Should've gone around the other side of it. What am I doing? This is the village. So maybe I should just travel to the village and then go along the beach. Hey guys, me again. Don't worry, I'm just I'm just passing through today. Hope you're having a nice day. Oh wow, that's a sheer cliff face. What? I know I came here for wool, but I'm I'm just curious now because Oh, they're like lily pads. Cute, but I'm really not great lakes. Oh, it's a lake. Wow. It's so pretty. Why does it look like things in there want to eat me? There's some something scary near me. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're talking to each other. How cute. Whoa. Hey, guys, you mind if I crash for a while? Thanks. Hi. Oh, he's stuck. It's okay. No, there's another one. No, 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 Okay, why did I go that way? Okay, so I thought that would be an easy way to go. I guess not. Let's just stick with the forest. Hey sheepies, I'm here for your wool. Sheepies! Hello friends. Aren't you glad I didn't kill you? Get out of the bushes. Thank you. Oh, I got a little baggie from that in the golem. Where's your friends? Sheepy? Sheepy? Oh, there's one. Hello! Oh, is there another one? There was three. No, because I counted them to try and go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, there's the other one. Hello! Oh, thank you for your services. I'm going to try and head home and not die now. What's this? In the golem horn. Let's see if I can get home without death. No, wait, that's how I died the first time. Let's try and go around. But I'm going to get stuck out here at night time. And I don't have a bed this time. Let's just skirt along here. Hello, snails. I remember you. Okay, this is where I went up last time, isn't it? It looks like it. Pretty sure this is where I went up last time. Oh, I know I can climb up here. Yep, and there's my dirt that I left behind. I'm stuck in a spider web. Let's just get there alive. At least if I die here, I'm not too far from home. I'd rather not. All right, the train track. Yee. Okay, now I can make the thing. Ooh, made it. All right, let's see what's in this baggie. Whoa, drawing knife, roll regeneration, manuscript dining, got gunpowder bone. Oh, what is, is it? Other side? Of course, it's other side. It's always other side. Put all this stuff in here because I, I don't, I don't know what. Oh, a name tag. Oh, some string. All right, so I've got enough wool. I need to dye one red. 
red, 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 red. I need a red flower. Can I do it with some sweet berries? Nope. I think I need beetroot. Can I use poppies? I'm, I'm absolutely certain that in the base game you can use poppies. So, yes. I need one, two red wool. Let's make a sleeping bag. Okay. Now I can make what I wanted to make. We need our tanks, our gold, our leather, iron, sleeping bag. I think that's it. Put my two tanks here. Gold, sleeping bag, leather. I hope that's not right. <laughs> leather in the corners. Let's go grab something else. Ooh, where'd I put it? Put it in here. No, did I put it in here? Yep. And a chest in the middle. Sleeping bag at the bottom. Tanks on the side. And gold at the top. And we have a backpack. Now these are super cool. Let me just put it on. Now, look at my cool little backpack. And you can fill these tanks with water. Not purified water though, that doesn't work. Uh, but you can fill these tanks with water and you've got all this extra inventory space and a crafting table. So it's a little bit, a little bit OP. I think it's a little, kind of feels unfair. Not for me, but it feels a little bit too, a little bit too easy. It feels like, I feel like I'm cheating whenever I use this, but it is really, really good for mining. You know, it keeps that inventory space. Uh, now I know that I have enough for a canteen too. So let's make a canteen. And later on I can make charcoal filters when I've got some paper, but I don't have any paper at the moment. It's fine. Oh my bucket. Where did I put that? Asleep. Oh, look at that list of stuff that I got. So I know that if I don't, if I drink unpurified water, it's not ideal, but it's better than not drinking any water. Now it's a canteen of purified water. So we get our bucket and go into the backpack. Just pop it here. It fills it. And you can also take it out, obviously. So there's no reason not to keep these tanks full, really. And something really cool is you can actually see the water level in the tank if you look really closely. I don't know if you can see that. That one's full, so you can't really see, but this one's one down, so you can see the water level. So I'm going to keep that bucket in the bag inventory. So now I have my canteen, I have my backpack. So far, this is a super duper successful episode. That was what I was really hoping to get done today. So I'm really glad that I did, but I think I need to do some more mining because I'm starting to get low on a few things. I've only got 11 diamonds. I'd like to work on getting diamond armor sorted. I also need more food. So let's see what I've got in the way of, got some bone meal. Do I have any other seeds? Wheat seeds, hemp seeds, no good. Pumpkin, wait, can I eat these pumpkin slices? I'm not hungry at the moment, so I won't be able to tell. I know I can't eat the onions. Let's keep berries in here as an emergency food source. Put pumpkins away, I'll try that another day. Let's see what I can harvest. Oh, I need some dirt because I need to plant more rice. Too much dirt. Rice panicle. Okay, so I get one bit of rice from that plant. And I've got some more wheat seeds. You know, the OG way of feeding yourself in Minecraft, just bread. Who wouldn't want to live on bread though? Come on. Do some harvesting. I want to set up a good trade deal in the village and I want to do a bit more work there. Wheat, always good for bread. Yeah, and what have I got here? Some cabbage seeds. Cabbage good. I'm just going to use up some stone steps because I want to do something around the bottom of my house. I will pull down that wall too at some stage. Let me see what's in these. Anything good? Some coal. That's always good. What's in this one? Some random stuff. Now where's those leftover stairs? Oh, I've got valuables in here too. I'll take these. I'll put them in my valuables chest. I've got two copies of other scythe. Do you have a crossbow? I'm going to take that. Lightning rod. 10 souls. Fires 15 souls. Harpoon, crossbow, auto seeds. Harvest just siphons the souls of the dead. I'm in way over my head here. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the stairs. Oh jeez. Put these valuables away. I shouldn't leave that door open, should I? Put the valuables away. I don't really need a potion of mana regeneration. I don't know why I grabbed that. I'm going to keep that in my backpack. Just because I will go and... I know we have a Fletcher in the village who can help me with some arrows. I just need to... I just need to trade things. I don't know why I just made torches. I needed that coal. I'm going to put these along the side of my house. Along here. I wanted to fill this in. I keep forgetting all the things that I was going to do. Does that look good or not? I don't know if that looks good. I don't know if I like it. Do I like it? I don't know. I can't decide. It's going to use up the... I don't need it on this side because I already... I think I hate it. Who knows? All right. got tomato seeds now. So tomatoes are really good. They grow so fast and you get tomatoes, which they fill the same amount of hunger as the cabbages do. I've got like a mess of a garden here. I need more farmland. Just fill in this bit. I think that's all I've got as far as dirt goes. And I've got some bone meal. So I'll just make some bone meal. Then I can get some food quicker. Question is, what do I want to do? I'll do the tomatoes. Okay. 
see how many spiders I've got. Whoa, that's a lot. I've also got some rotten ones. What happens when I throw that? Ooh. Boo, your house sucks. Put those in the backpack. Get a nice little stash of food in there. I might as well put these onions away because I can't actually eat them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Maybe you have to cook them? Cooked onion? Onion breath? I've still got more bone meal. I'll save that for another day. Listeners? No? Okay. Garden stuff again? Yeah, here it is. Take all this and make some bread. I know I can use the crafting table option in my backpack, but sometimes it's just easier to use use the other one. I didn't even have my sword with me. I just had this crummy platinum one. I'll upgrade my armor to diamond when I have more diamonds and when this armor runs out because, you know, I don't want to be wasteful. I think tonight... Go to bed. Oh, it's a new day. Use up these dud pickaxes. I want to head... Let's have a look at the map. Got the rails going to this village. They're not terribly safe. But, you know, they do the job. I want a rail that goes to here, though. So maybe I'll make a stop point. I know. I know what I'll do. The axe has literally none left. I'll get my, my minecart here. Can't actually have it go straight here because that's the gatekeeper's house. And I don't want to break his house. So, but instead of that, oh, I don't have a... Uh, I didn't bring an axe. Hang on. I'll go back. There'd not be a revenant in here. Oh, I don't need to take my shears. What am I doing? I'm actually going to take some rails. Now that I think about it, because I might as well start the rails if I'm going to put them there. So I've got my five powered rails. I don't know if I've got any unpowered ones because I'm pretty sure I use them all. I don't need to use the spruce logs. I can use you because you are useless. And we need more gold, redstone, and iron. So how many redstone torches do I need? Five at the moment. Let's see how many powered rails I can make. Make 12. Probably don't need that many, but I've got the stuff to make them, so why not? And we'll make all of the unpowered rails we can because they run out very quickly. And now I'm out of iron, so I really need to do more mining. So let's hop back in the cart. So I'm going to have a sort of station, I guess. So this is where it will stop. And there'll be another track here that will go north. That will take us to right where that wanderer was. Let's not do that. It's going to go underground anyway. So this is going to be a bit more of a project because it needs to get down to the level of that clearing, which I think was 63. Oh, 60, isn't 63 the level of the ocean? Jeez, that's a lot of wood. It's a big tree. Ow! What that? Okie dokie. So this is where our rail will start. Let's mark it here. And it's going to go immediately underground. Now this is going to use a lot of powered rails because I'll have to go down about 30 blocks, which means I'm probably going to use one powered rail. I usually use one every two to keep it going really fast. Probably do one every three. Still need, means I'm going to need 10 powered rails just for that bit. Use up these pickaxes. There you go. Well, this is going to take a bit of digging. So what I might do is I might end this episode here. When you come back next time, I will... I'll just come back when I've dug down to whatever level I want or we'll see. You'll see next time how much I've done. I won't do anything else. All I'll do is dig this tunnel. Uh, except I might have to come back when I need to mine. But we'll see. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. Check out links in the description to see where you can get Medieval Minecraft mod pack for yourself if you'd like to use it along with the complimentary shaders that I use and I'll see you back here next time for more Minecrafty adventures.